Hey guys, here I am with the E-Flight P47. I've probably got around 50 to 60 flights on this thing by now, and I must say, I'm loving it. Um, I've had three flights today, just put a 4S 2200, uh, may maybe a 3200 4S pack through it, and this thing is unreal. The speed is just crazy. So, I got a slight headwind, sun's going down. I'm going to do the best I can to video it. I'm going to prop it up here on the hood of the car and see whether or not... I can get some sort of videoing capabilities here. I don't know. I mean, decent, sort of, maybe, kind of. Might see it out through there. I don't know. We'll see if that works. Anyway, I'm going to taxi out and take off. Mm, I think I'll go. I think I'll go right to left. Alright, can you see me out there? I'm going to take off into the wind. I'm going no flaps take off on this. Gear is up. I tell you, after you fly 4S on this thing, 3S just isn't the same. There we go. P-47s are somewhat, how do I say this, mushy on the power. Like when you first take off, they're super, they're mushy. Like the controls don't respond and the thing kind of wants to stall. That's just the nature of a P-47. It's a very floaty aircraft compared to like the P-51, which will stall on the drop of a dime. But then once you get some speed under your wing, uh -huh, no pun intended, you just kind of, I mean, I'm like quarter throttle right now, and, this, and there's some wind up there, I've got a kind of a tailwind, so I'm just kind of cruising around without much of a problem, and the thing loves it. You get up there, you get to where the wind is at, um, and, the th and it's super responsive. Again, that's how pretty much all P-47s are. They're just, they're mushy on takeoff. They're mushy on takeoff, and then once you get your speed up, they just, they love you, and they'll do anything you want. Been doing some barrel rolls and stuff today, but that was with the 4S pack. Trying to do a barrel roll on the 3S would probably stall, because it goes so slow with this 3S battery. I really need to get a 4S set up in this thing, it's just so much better. I need to get myself a 4S battery pack. I'm coming around over behind the flight line. Coming over the top of us right now, I'm going to head out over the river. I don't know whether you can see that or not. I'm sort of trying to watch the camera and watch the plane at the same time to see if I can get any shots. I'm at two minutes on this timer. I've got a five minute timer. I'll come by real kind of close here. Sort of buzz us. There you go. I'll come by and maybe do a presentation or something. Or actually, no, I'm not. Yeah. Sort of a presentation pass, not really. Woo! You really got to get in the power for those turns. Slow flight now. Flaps down. This is dangerous, guys. Don't do this with a warbird. You're likely to stall. I'm a minute 42, so... My gear's down. I'm going to set up for a landing.
That was a bit of a hard landing. A little bit bumpier than I normally do, but she seemed to handle it no problem. Got some scuffing there. That was on maiden flight day. It struck on the concrete, so a tip to all you foamy flyers out there. If you're if you're flying a warbird, a foamy tail dragger especially, don't fly it off the uh, pavement because if you have a nose over, it ruins it. So I got some work to do. That was on maiden flight day about two or three months ago. So you know, I gotta fix that up, but it's just been flying so well. I've probably got about 60, probably over 60 flights on this thing, and it's just it's such a gorgeous airplane. It flies just so ridiculously well. Okay, that's that. I'm gonna pack up and head back to the hangar. It's getting dark on me. I would love to squeeze in another flight if I could. It's about, eh, it's about 6.30 right now, so don't know that I can get another battery charge before then. So anyway, I'm just going to pack up and head on back. I'm getting hungry anyway. See ya.